Hey, this is Pastor Kent, and we're looking this morning, or sorry, today, at codependency and what that entails. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, lead me in this message. May I say and do what you want me to do and say these things in Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Codependency is a very real thing when it comes to addiction. The true meaning of codependency is a type of dysfunctional, helpful relationship where one person supports and enables another person's drug addiction, alcoholism, gambling addiction, or poor mental health, immortality, irresponsible, or an underachiever. This is what a codependent is. Now, you may wonder, um, am I codependent? Well, if you're helping somebody with their addiction, Yes, you are codependent, and you could be in a codependent relationship. This is a very dangerous thing. Because that person cannot survive without you. Okay, they're very dependent on you. Um, and a lot of times, this person that clings on to you has low self-esteem um, or is depressed and they need you to hang on to. Now there's many scriptures in the Bible uh, about depression. Um, <coughs> depression is a very real thing. Um, it's very real in this day and age. And more and more people are suffering from it. Be it from grief or from low self-esteem. Um, it could be a numerous amount of things that that causes depression. So, what does the Bible say about depression? Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is in admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So when you're down and you're out, um, think about how God is and how he can help you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. God will always lead the way for you. Psalms 34 verse 17 says the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them he delivers them from their troubles when we ask God to free us from our problems he will because he says it in his word Psalms 40 verses 1 to 3 
I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard me cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit and out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on the rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and hear the Lord and put their trust in Him. When we rely on the Lord, you know, it's so great that this depression thing does not have a foothold when it comes to God. Psalms 3 verse 3 But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who fits my head high and lifts my head high. Psalms 32 verse 10 says, Many are the woes of the wicked. The Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts him. God will comfort us when we are lost. Psalms 42 verse 11 says, Why my soul are you downcast? Why so distraught within me? Put your hope in God. I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. First Peter 5 verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand that he might lift you up in due time cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us in our time of need John 16 verse 33 says if I told you these things so that I so that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world when we have no faith rely on the Lord Jesus Christ and he will always set you free Romans 8 verse 39 or 38 to 39 says for I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future neither any powers neither height or depth nor anything else in creation will be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord Make no mistake on this. The Lord is always with us. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 and 4 says, Peace be with God to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with comfort we ourselves receive from God. 1 Peter 4 verses 12 and 13 says, Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fury ordeal that has come you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in as much as practiced 
in sufferings of Christ so that ye may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. <coughs> when we're in trials and tribulations, it feels horrible. It feels terrible and we don't quite know what to do. But I assure you, the Lord is there and he is with us all the time. Psalms 37 verse 23 and 24 says, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may be stumble, he will not fall. The Lord upholds him and his hand. This could go well for a girl as well. So the Lord holds us up. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. So God will never let us face our trials and our tribulations alone. He just won't do that. Okay? He'll be there through the whole ordeal. We never have to fear. God is always with us. And when we are in depression and feel loss, we feel there is no hope. But there is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I tell you this, and I testify to you this, that I suffer with it as well. And sometimes it sucks. But when I rely on the Lord, it's not so bad. You know, put your faith in God. Put your faith in Him. And He will never leave you down. If you're in the sound of my voice this morning, and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and friend, or you're lost and you're back sudden, say this simple prayer with me. God, thank you for sending your Son to die for me. Take my will in my life. Show me how to live, righteous and just. And I say these things in Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Now that you've said that prayer, you're a child of God. Nothing can stand against you with God in you. And together you will conquer those demons. If you're having trouble, look me up on Facebook. Feel free to add me at any time. My links will be on this page. We're also on Blog Talk every night at 11 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. Come join us and enjoy in the show. May the Lord bless and keep you until we meet again. Father, I thank you for being here with us and for blessing and guiding and keeping us. We ask these things in Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. <laughs>